one of the most important things in ER specifically is to critically think, especially so you are the first person that the patient is seeing. So you have to take what these patients are saying and the signs and symptoms and the clinical presentation that you're given and kind of make, you know, these thoughts in your head or these decisions in your head of what you're going to do first, second, third, what's most important, what you can wait on, what you should tell the doctor and stuff like that. So I think critical thinking is a huge aspect of the ER. I would say it's mainly that. And then you do start IVs, you do do the drips, you do medications, splinting, uh, reductions of bones or dislocations, conscious sedations for like people that have different rhythms, like heart rhythms that need to be cardioverted. We do everything.